Hello Capricorn. So this is going to be your month ahead reading for August 2022. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So don't forget to check out your other placements uh, so you get a nice comprehensive prediction for the month ahead. If I sound a little off, I am getting over an illness. So please just ignore that. And we're going to get right into it for you. For Capricorn, August 2022. Oh my gosh, I'm just dropping all the cards. Wow, that's never happened before. Guess you got a lot going on. Um, sorry, that literally just went everywhere. I'm gonna take the cards that came out. One second. <laughs> oh my gosh, that has never happened before. <laughs> Insanity, okay. We have the Ten of Cups. Let me place that in the middle for you. That was the first card I saw. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the Eight of Cups. So we have Eight, Nine, Ten here. Leading up to fulfillment. So you may have been going through it for a while and you feel like it's taken a long time but you're arriving at a place of happiness and fulfillment so let's see where that takes us with the queen of cups here lots of cups energy and then we have the eight of pentacles <coughs> through for you. Oh, we have the Three of Swords. So I do see this as like a love situation. I see you keeping busy to kind of get over some connection that didn't work out or a situation that made you kind of unhappy. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a breakup just something that was not so positive in some sort of love connection but obviously I do see that you're leading up to this ten of cups here so things are definitely changing for the better and you seem to be keeping busy in other areas of your life to keep distracted which doesn't surprise me you are a Capricorn you love to work it's one of your defining characteristics. Look at that. Seven, eight. So you're definitely keeping busy with work. Does not surprise me in the slightest. <laughs> um, working hard, as always. Let's see. Uh, but I do see here to kind of take care of yourself emotionally. Whatever it is that's bothering you, don't just ignore it with work. Um, actually address it with yourself or with the person or with a professional. Don't just keep it all bottled in and hope that it goes away because you're working and distracting yourself. Because ultimately, this is what you want, right? You want fulfillment. You want to be emotionally fulfilled and happy. You don't just want to mask everything and hope it goes away. So, the strength car that is Leo. We do start off August in Leo season. So there's that. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> a new opportunity in love. Um, either with a brand new person or just with the situation that you were in with someone. There could be kind of this rebirth, renewal, reset. Um, if it didn't work out previously, it's there's like a rebirth, a renewal, redemption, whatever you want to call it, and that will lead you to this fulfillment. Or alternatively, if it's a new person coming in, it's a very serious relationship, serious life partner energy here. Oh my gosh, 
we have the nine of swords and the page of cups so yeah definitely new energy coming into your love life um, and you're kind of, if you take care of yourself, like I said, emotionally and deal with whatever is bothering you, then you'll be able to overcome this like anxiety. Don't just rely on work. Work is a good distraction. And obviously you probably love to work hard, but don't use that as your only crutch. You have to actually deal with your emotions, process them and heal in order to be the happiest version of yourself. We have the King of Swords coming in. You gotta talk it out. You gotta use your words. You gotta talk about your emotions. Don't keep them all bottled in. The Hierophant that is Taurus. Again, with the life partner energy here hierophant and ten of cups are very like marriage cards of the deck we have the fool another like ace renewal renewed energy renewed vigor optimism and we have the six of cups so yeah you're cycling back so perhaps you had just a little hiccup in a connection with someone and I see you kind of like cycling back and healing from that, moving on, really like communicating uh, with that connection and starting new and feeling really good about that. So that's awesome for you. Alternatively, this could just be a person that you already know uh, coming in as a new love interest. And that gives you a lot of emotional fulfillment as well. And they have a lot of potential to be a very serious like life partner for you. Oh my god. Okay. We have the Seven of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. I see in the Seven of Swords that you or the other person or both of you um, previously were not being totally honest in your communication or open, I should say. And like I said, uh, you both need to address it head on oh my gosh address it head on have open honest communication and that's ultimately what's going to lead you to this fulfillment um we have the empress that also connects to taurus as well as libra that is aquarius did i miss anything no there you go oh we have the ten of swords reverse so yeah you want to end this cycle of negativity, sadness, whatever it may be, anxiety. And you will be able to. They both came out reverse, so you can get out of it. You just need to give yourself a chance. Your cards keep falling so far out, and I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, this is the second time I've dumped like a bunch of cards onto the floor and this does not happen super often so clearly there's a lot on your mind and you're bottling up a lot and it's coming out explosively so you really need to deal with your emotions for sure um, find a balance and you will grow from this emotionally in a positive manner because clearly there's a lot bottled up inside of you right now <laughs> Let's hope I don't dump all these cards onto the floor as well. Let's just see, you've been so explosive. So much is coming out for you. It's, it's a little bit crazy. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that. Oh, that card wanted to lay down. So we have be here now and a rebirth is assured. What did I say? A rebirth. Awesome. Okay, that is all I have here. Let me grab some numbers for you. Capricorn. We have 17, 
25, and 4. So Capricorn, I hope this resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed it and that it is helpful for you in the month ahead. Don't forget to check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next prediction. I will catch you all in my next video.